Measuring performance. Developing a performance framework. As the HTP develops it is important that we can monitor progress and understand if the program is on track to deliver its outcomes. To support this, we are developing a performance framework that links success factors to performance and results indicators. The framework will include balancing measures to ensure that the HTP does not drive unintended outcomes and contextual measures which account for factors that the HTP cannot control directly, but may explain changes seen elsewhere. The indicators in the framework will develop as the program and its data sources develop to provide more detail and highlight any new measurements that are needed. The aims of the performance framework are to provide a consistent approach to measuring progress over time and across the different strands of the HTP. Align with DWP-wide approaches to measuring performance to support, where appropriate and possible, robust comparisons between the HTP services and DWP business as usual services. Support the agile approach by feeding robust and consistent data into the program regularly. This will enable the HTP to identify areas that need attention. Allow the program to tell a consistent story of progress to our internal and external stakeholders as the program develops. It will not be appropriate to compare new HTP services to DWP business as usual services while they are still in development, i.e., before services are stabilized to a point where they can be scaled. This is because the number of customers involved in tests is small to draw statistically accurate comparisons. The population of customers in the test areas is not representative of the whole population, e.g., geographical differences such as urban, forward slash, rural. Data accuracy issues arise during the development of new services. Service design and implementation are not comparable. Key Performance Indicators There are nine top-level key performance indicators in the performance framework. These have been identified as a set of quantifiable indicators to aid monitoring the HTP performance against its strategic outcomes, health assessment quality, customer journey time by milestone, percentage of cases cleared within benchmark, contracted staff attrition, Average unit cost of service. Health assessment capacity compared with demand. Percentage of actual productivity to funded productivity. Customer query resolved at first contact. Engagement with employment support. Figure 5 demonstrates how these key performance indicators map onto the strategic outcomes and how the outcomes are interrelated. An indicator that sits under one outcome is likely to have an impact on other outcomes. Figure 5 is a flow chart. KPI is key performance indicator. SO is strategic outcome. 1. KPI, transformed in-house data and IT infrastructure that is secure. 1.1. Forward to KPI. More efficient service with reduced demand for health assessments. SO. Contracted staff attrition. SO. Average unit cost of service. SO. Percentage of actual productivity to funded productivity. 1.2. Forward to KPI. Improved customer experience with shorter journey times. SO. Customer journey time by milestone, compared to benchmark. SO, percentage of cases cleared within benchmark. 2. KPI, more efficient service with reduced demand for health assessments. 2.1. Forward to KPI, improved customer experience with shorter journey times. SO. Assessment provider capacity compared with demand. 2.2 Forward to KPI. 
increased customer trust in services and decisions. 3. KPI improved customer experience with shorter journey times. 3.1 Forward to KPI increased customer trust in services and decisions. SO query resolved at first contact. 4. KPI increased customer trust in services and decisions. 4.1 Back to KPI more efficient service with reduced demand for health assessments. SO health assessment quality. 4.2 Forward to KPI Increased take up of wider support and employment. SO Engagement with employment support. End of figure 5.